champagne-y, nude -y, dimensional, iridescent-y. If I can get a good swatch here, I'm like on a bone, so it's, it's getting all misshapen here. Hey guys, welcome back. So we've got Friday favorites and foods for you today, and I would say if there is an overall theme this week, it would be kind of like burgundies, peachy shades, but I have some neutrals too, so it's a little bit all over the place, but I was doing similar eye looks to this pretty much all week, so all my favorites kind of like fall in that category, umbrella, thing. So yeah, let's get to the favorites. For eyes this week, I was playing with this palette quite a bit, like pretty much almost every single day. This is the Balm Meet Matrimony Matte Eyeshadow Palette. So this is the newer version, or like the, you know, continuation of the Meet Mattes series. So there's the Meet Matte Nudes, and then there's this one. I guess is it technically a series if there's just two of them? The newer one of the duo? I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to say that, but this is the semi-new one, and now I think they have like an even newer palette, but it's not a meat matte. I'm babbling. So this is a really pretty matte, like very warm tone sort of palette. So I was wearing matte Kumar this week, matte Lopez, matte Evans, matte Ma Mouskowitz, Moskowitz. Alrighty, I think I got it maybe that time. I think I said it right that last time. Okay, so the texture on these, like when I just swatch them, um, I don't know, like they feel almost a little bit gritty. So if, I think if I went to the store and just swatch this, I would be like, I don't know about that palette, but on my eyes, I really like it. And I feel like because they have a little bit of that grit to them, they seem to really like adhere and stick to the eyes well, and then wear really well throughout the day. So, kind of a different texture on these, but I do like the texture. Like, I don't know that I would say this is my favorite matte eyeshadow texture by any stretch, but when I use it, it works. You know what I mean? And I really like the theme of the palette, like the whole like warm toned color theme, color scheme color scheme, I can't talk today. And then I also like the theme of the palette, like the whole, you know, retro meat matte, and it's all the different mattes. Like, the Balm just has really super cute packaging. So I've been enjoying that and wearing it almost every single day this week. And then also on my eyes this week, this pigment. Oh my gosh, this pigment is gorgeous. I do have this on my lids today, kind of the inner half. This is so pretty. This is by Mustav, 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 I think it is. This is the Color Powder Moonlight, and this is in Champagne. So when I showed this in my haul from Makeup Show, oh, I got too much out. I was gonna say I didn't get enough out of it last time to be able to show you, and now I have too much. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. Oh, I still have swatches left over. See, like those are like super, they're super pigmented. So anyway, onto the pigment. This is such a gorgeous, sparkly, it's, I don't know why they call it champagne, because it's really, I mean, it's a little bit champagne, but it's pretty peachy. Like, it's like a peachy champagne with some shimmer in it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I've used this with MAC Fix Plus every time I've worn it, just, you know, because it's a pigment, so it kind of like, I just like to use pigments wet, for the most part, because I find that they're easier to use, less messy, but this color is so pretty and it's gorgeous paired with those like really warm tones. So one day that I didn't wear the Meat Matte palette, I wore some Stilazzi shadows and I actually filmed a Get Ready With Me on that look. So if you like this look, I'll have a very similar Get Ready With Me look coming soon, so you can watch for that. But um, I used it with some like almost like reddish tones and it was super pretty. So I only wore my Stilazzi shadows one day this week, but so that's why they're not my favorites. I enjoyed them, but I'll probably like wear them more next week or something. So anywho, this pigment looks so pretty with those warm tones, like burgundies, reds, probably even purples. It just is beautiful and it's so pigmented and gorgeous. Once you actually get enough product out, but not too much like I just did, 
But yeah, I would say wear it with Fix Blush just because it intensifies it and makes it a little bit less messy. For blush this week, I wore another product from the Balm. These were all from like a recent haul. I got these two products and then one other thing when they had like a 50% off sale. So I've been playing with them. And this one is Balm Desert. And this is a bronzer blush. It says long wearing for an endless summer. So this is just a really beautiful bronzer blush. I mean, it's it really could be used for both. That's why I really like it. I mean, this is just like easy, so easy. Today I am wearing a bronzer, but you don't have to at all with this because it's like a rosy bronze is kind of how I would describe it. Well, not bronze, a rosy bronzer type of a color because it looks like a bronzer, but then it has a little bit more pink to it. So just enough pink to it to be able to wear on the cheeks. Like I find that I can still do that. Cause sometimes, like I really don't find that I can just wear a bronzer because I'm more kind of neutral toned. Sometimes, I mean, I feel like, I, I don't even know what I am, but I think I'm mostly just neutral. But if anything, if I'm leaning one way or the other, probably more cool toned. So if it's, if I find that bronzers, what I'm trying to say, not articulately at all, inarticulately, very inarticulately, is that a word? I think so. Anyway, I'm not saying it well, but what I'm trying to say is sometimes bronzers, I don't feel like I can just wear them on my cheeks. This one, I feel like I can because it has a little bit more of that pinky tone to it. So if you're looking for like an easy makeup product that you just want to like take out a step. This reminds me kind of of like um, Nars' Paloma, which is kind of in between like a blush and a bronzer. So if you're looking for that kind of a product to just kind of save some time um, and just do kind of more of a natural makeup look, this is a great option. It blends well. It is one of those products that when you put it on there, it sticks. So you have to be prepared for like blending or put it on the back of your hand first and then blend. So anywho, but it's a really nice product. I like it a lot. So I was kind of shopping through my stash a little bit this week and I found this lipstick from Ben Nye. I hadn't worn this in a very long time. This is just, it says lipstick and this is in First Blush. I, w I looked at it and I was like, I haven't even worn this. I need to give this away. Like, what is this? But then I swatched it and then I wore it and I was like, oh my gosh. Now I remember why I bought this. So it's like, it's probably more of a pink, but it almost looks nude on me. So it's like a pinky nude, which I love. It's so pretty. It's pigmented. Now Ben Nye is really kind of more almost like stage makeup. So this is a very pigmented lipstick. So it feels relatively heavy on the lips, but not like uncomfortable. It's just super creamy and super pigmented. So, you know, cause it's meant for stage makeup to stay on to look really intense so you can see it you know from the crowd or on camera or whatever so just know that it's you know it's a pretty intense lipstick but i still find it to be really comfortable i love the color it does stay around on your lips for a good amount of time and it's just great and the packaging feels like nice and weighty and it's pretty so yeah they really do have some good products like i feel like they're kind of overlooked like just in the, you know, makeup lover beauty community. I feel like with makeup artists and theater and film, it's probably more recognized, but with just, you know, us girls who like makeup and just love to collect makeup, I think it doesn't get quite as much attention, but it's a great brand and they make some really good products like their powders that I love today. Then I also pulled this out of my stash. This is the MAC Lip Glass in Oyster Girl. I can't remember the last time I wore this, but it is beautiful. I wore this with that lipstick. So I'll show you just the gloss by itself and then I'll show it to you over the lipstick. So Oyster Girl is kind of like a champagne-y, nude -y, dimensional, iridescent-y <laughs> sort of a gloss color. It's really, really pretty. So you can kind of see, it just gives a little bit of dimension to that lip color, but by itself, it's just a really pretty, I don't know, dimensional sort of a gloss. It's really, really beautiful. I like the lip glasses. They're sticky, but you know, they look glossy. They look pretty. Stick around on the lips. 
I just really like that color. It's a very unique one and it looks really pretty in the packaging too. Like it literally looks like an oyster. Like it just has that kind of like duochrome -y thing happening. It's really pretty. And what I'm wearing on my lips right now, I was wearing this one day and several of you guys on Snapchat asked what I was wearing. And it was this. This is one of the Delium Tools matte lipsticks. These are new. First off, I love the packaging on these. I love the like color scheme. It matches their brand with the black and the bright yellow. These are really like weighty feeling. They're magnetic. I mean like super high end. And then you look and it's got like the yellow on the inside. Just a lot of really nice detail with the packaging. I feel like they really paid attention to detail on it. It's just, I love the packaging, so nice. And then I really love the lipsticks inside. So it's not one of those things that I just like the packaging. I love the product inside. So this one is Kylie. This is the one that I've been grabbing for the most. And this is kind of like a brownie terracotta nude. Like it's leaning towards that kind of warm family, you know? But then it's it's really just like a nice brownie nude. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. And it's just one of those colors that, I don't know, I feel like makes your lips look more plump or something. I mean, I haven't done anything with my lips. I mean, it's, it's all the same situation there. I didn't even use like a plumping gloss or anything earlier today. It's just this lipstick. But I feel like that kind of like, I don't know. This sort of nude just makes my lips look fuller. Do y'all feel like that with nude lipsticks? Anywho, that's a tangent, but I love this color. I really like the formula on these. You know, I, I love matte lipsticks because I feel like they're what I wish liquid lipsticks were because liquid lipsticks most of the time do that line. They're more on the dry side. They're either there or not there. So I feel like they're just more high maintenance. With a matte lipstick, a good matte lipstick, and this is a good matte lipstick, I forget that they're there. Like, they are they don't feel drying on my lips. My lips just feel good. Like, I don't feel them like a cream lipstick, you know, that like kind of like slick feel. It doesn't feel like that, but my lips feel hydrated. They look hydrated after I stop wearing the lipstick, so it's not like they dry out my lips. These remind me a lot of the Kat Von D Study Kiss lipsticks, except I would say a little bit more hydrating. So, I love them, love the formula. So this is the color I've been wearing the most. And then the other one that I have is Last Call. I did also wear this one this week, so I wanted to show you. This is just a gorgeous like wine sort of a shade. And if I wear a color like this, I typically want it to be matte. Like sometimes I wear glossy. If I can get a good swatch here, I'm like on a bone, so it's, it's getting all misshapen here, but. <laughs> There we go, that's, I guess, semi-okay. But, um, what was I even saying? Oh, sometimes I wear like glossy kind of colors like this, but typically I want them to be matte because I don't want them to move all over the place. I don't want them to bleed. I don't want them to get on my teeth. And these are a great option for that. So, yeah, just really nice matte lipsticks. I'm loving these. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week, or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.